Tiger moths are a subfamily of Lepidoptera, or moths and butterflies, that evolved about 25 to 50 million years ago. This is a very diverse group of insects with more than 11,000 species organized into nearly 1,200 genera. Although they've been studied in some capacity since the mid-1700s, the majority of our understanding of their behaviors and evolution comes from the last 30 years or so. I am one of a small number of active researchers of tiger moths in the world. For the past 10 years, I've been researching Phagopterine tiger moths in order to understand how different species of these moths are related to each other. This is done by sequencing the DNA to obtain each species' unique genetic code and comparing those to see which are most similar. My main objective is to understand how the sound producing capabilities of these moths, especially their ability to disrupt or jam bat sonar, has evolved over the last 20 to 50 million years. Jamming is a unique defense possessed by some tiger moths that allows them to confuse bats using sound, which allows them to escape predation. In 2020, my team introduced a new toolkit to target and sequence hundreds of genes in the genomes of these moths. To date, I've used this toolkit to sequence 273 specimens of tiger moth, amounting to over 188 genera. This process involves obtaining moth tissues, mainly muscle tissues, grinding them up, applying a variety of chemicals to release the DNA from inside the cells, and finally filtering out impurities to obtain pure DNA. The most recent round of sequencing includes an additional 163 species that will be sequenced using this technique for the first time, adding 76 new genera. The material was sent for sequencing in November of 2021, and I'm hoping to get the sequencing results in May of 2022. Once the DNA data are available, computational analyses can begin. With this data, one of the things I hope to demonstrate is that sonar jamming has evolved independently many times within the tiger moth subtribe, Phagopterina. These data will also be used to test many other hypotheses about the evolution of other interesting traits like visual mimicry and host plant use. Once the relationships of the species are better understood, this phylogenetic framework or family tree of the species can be used to reconstruct how their unique traits evolved and what factors might have shaped this process. A major question in biology is how predictable is evolution? This work helps us better understand answers to this question, as well as the reasons why evolution might be more or less predictable in certain circumstances. Tiger moths are under selective pressure from many sources simultaneously, bat predators, bird predators, plant toxins, female mate choice, and understanding how many pressures influence the evolutionary trajectory of species is a major goal in evolutionary biology. There are also practical reasons like agriculture, pest management, and ecological management to understand how species evolve, particularly moths, which can serve as pollinators and critical nodes in many food webs.